So I want to ask you a couple of questions about things that have occurred um, for, for us uh, that, that uh, this dialogue creates the opportunity to do. Uh, one, over the last couple of years, a lot of public comments have come to the City Council around some major issues. Uh, a year ago, uh, an unprecedented alliance across the city from WAND to our elementary school board to Los Amigos to OCOR to OCO to CARE, uh, multiple communities to ANA, the Anaheim Neighborhood Association, often groups that don't talk for various reasons, um, came together to say to, to not approve the Plan of Triangle plan. Uh, and to hold off on that plan, which was Kurt Pringle's last hurrah. Um, everybody went up to speak, asking them just to hold on. Um, and you did not speak. And, and I asked you to speak on behalf of our children because we knew it was gonna overcrowd our schools. And you s agreed with me that it would overcrowd our schools and that there was not a school planned in that plan. Um, so you chose not to speak. When uh, hotel developers came asking for subsidies, our communities went and said, we don't want public subsidies to millionaires, we want a community benefits agreement if you're gonna do that. We want a commitment of good paying jobs with uh, affordable housing for those workers and local hiring. Um, instead, you spoke on behalf of the public subsidies to be given to hotels. You mentioned investing in neighborhoods, yet you went publicly and spoke to give away $156 million of future tax revenue. Uh, in a time of crisis in our neighborhoods. Uh, when we asked uh, you to discuss district elections uh, and to be a, really clear that we want district elections now to not go through the expense of a lawsuit, which is general fund money, but to rather have the council vote to put it on the ballot, uh, what you said in public comments was, I support, which was really the, the, the Disney letter that was sent out. I support district elections, but also approve the commission being forwarded to study whether we should even have district elections. Yep. So there's actually a possibility this commission might say we don't need to do district elections. So my question to you, Jordan, is when we've needed public advocacy, it appears that in the grassroots community, you've stayed silent when we've needed you to advocate. But when SOAR, uh, Disneyland, uh, Kurt Pringle, and others seem to need a community voice or a local elected voice to speak on behalf of their side, you seem to present yourself and support that side. That's the perception in the community. I'm not asking for a response of why you did or didn't. We can engage that dialogue later, but that's what I think for me personally, because uh, it's not Los Amigos who distanced themselves from, from, from you, it was myself. And Amin could speak to his part as well. It was myself. And we don't, as we know in Los Amigos, endorse candidates as a group, individuals do. So I want to be clear that when you say that there's been a challenge in the relation with Los Amigos, that's not the case. This group has never said anything publicly about you as a group um, or asked you to not come to Los Amigos. So I want to be clear on that. So I, I, I do look forward to engaging with you on understanding the, the seeming contradictions of why you support corporate development in such a public way, but not in the subsidizing of our working families. So I'm, I'm pleased to hear you're willing to fight for, advocate, sponsor an ordinance for living wages for our workers. Um, and I'm pleased to hear that you're saying district elections